this episode, my dad and I are going to be hanging a gate for some new animals that we're getting here on the homestead soon. We've been keeping the kind of animal somewhat of a secret, but here's a pretty good hint. <laughs> <laughs> Those were clips from last year's Clackamas County Fair. We're not actually getting those goats, but we have picked out two does, and we'll probably be introducing those to you maybe in our next episode. I've been a little reluctant to actually pull the trigger on buying goats. I wanted to have everything worked out in my mind first as far as... Uh, you know, feed storage and the permanent fencing and uh, access to water and uh, goat shelters. One thing I've come to realize is that we really won't know what we need until we are actually working with the goats here in our space. We do know where one gate, one permanent gate is going to go and that's the one we're going to be installing here today. As a temporary measure We'll put up an uh, electric fence in a big area, just kind of connecting that gate to keep the goats contained and safe from predators. In this episode, I'll show you what we've come up with for a uh, temporary goat shelter. And evidently, ferns aren't good for goats, so I'm going to be transplanting a bunch of those to other parts of our property here in this episode as well. The video of us Hanging the gate starts a bit in the middle of the process. What I didn't shoot was us digging the holes and making sure they were far enough apart to accommodate the gate, the uh, latch, and the hinging screws that the, that the gate pivots on. We set the 4x4 posts in concrete much like we did uh, when we were building the privacy fence. Uh, that was a previous video. You can check that out if you want to see how we did that. And here we are fine-tuning what we want with uh, some bracing blocks and a couple of clamps. And slow before you don't splinter it. And you got to and slow so you don't splinter the outside. Uh, it worked out fine. Tired, I'll switch for you. Not, not real hard, especially with yeah, this leverage. Yeah, it's probably I kind of keep that thing in there. because you went through it? It's uh, that's about the same, I'd yeah, say. You're there, same right there, the other one you're going to screw. Yeah, it'll be right there. I'm just see what it looks like if they can get it on there. Do that? Yeah, 
Yep. Set the other one and see what it looks like. When, yep. Set the other one. Because again, these are adjustable. It gets a little tight for hand cranking. Yeah. Teamwork. Yes, sir. See, it took, a, it took your experience again. Now, now, <laughs> now, see, now, let's go drill a couple more holes. We know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it never fails. By the time you're done with the project, is the time you know what you're doing. I've noticed that with every like a tool or a tractor or anything I've rented from like, you know, you rent it or anything like those places. The last hours you accomplish what you've done in the three or three, three hours, getting used to the piece of equipment. Thing as before, we'll just go right until it yeah, the just touch. about touches. Looks like maybe one more. This one might be it. That is it. Okay, we'll straighten it up and yeah, hope it flies right. Yep. Ah. Okay, okay, that's good. Let's still uh, we want it to be that close to the ground anyway, so yeah, that's, we're that's about good. To, about there. So now we can adjust these. Let's do that. Yeah. Sure that's firming up. Okay. Now I'll loosen this up. Yeah, we've uh, slip slightly off. So let me bring this back. I'm gonna loosen this up because then it should just sit. Sit right into it, yeah. yeah. Let, let it do what it uh, wants to fall down too. Good. Okay, okay that then. I'll hold it. I got it with my hand too, so I can got it. Perfect for level. See the metal bending, we're probably good. That's what I was gonna say, I just can feel it. There. All right. Now this should be self. Now that one we can set with the, yeah. for whatever height it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, and right. looking at it this way, we could still drop just a touch and we'll be right in the middle that we've got the most play. Okay. Um, you, got, you got it where you want it? Oh, I need to drop it still. Okay. Let's uh, let's put it now. You need a top over. Feel it with your fingers, cause you can tell about the width. So you got you got a little more on that side than this side. Okay. Actually, you know what we should do first, Ed? We should tighten these down. That's true too. But I'll just because get it's, this. It's not level. Right. So I, I agree. I'm just gonna do that. I'll just do one. Okay. So let's tighten this thing. Ooh, this looks good right this second. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, just it's and usually once you tighten it down, it yeah, kinda it looks like it firms up. Oh, yeah, it's a little straighter, a little more true. I don't want it. It's, it obviously, I haven't got it tight enough because I, the ratchet won't it's, let it come back. So yeah, it's still. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we want the metal to actually bend to the bar but with this process. Okay. And that can come back a little bit too if you need it. And that's firm. That's when it's firm. That's firm and this will take a little bit more. And then this one. Firm. Okay. Alright, now we can check the height. 
the height is just about right as far as having a little bit of play on both sides and uh, looks like we need to shift just a little bit that way. Okay, shift it and then get your finger out of the way. <laughs> that's, uh, that's good, right there. Okay, yeah. we need to drop down or we're not on the pedal. Come back here, and it looks like you got it just perfect, but since it's your project, are these okay? I'm looking. That feels right to me. But no, look back here. See, that you feel good, because remember how you want them both to be? It looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I did, that's just, you know, I didn't want you to look later and say, oh, I got those, <laughs> you know. the drill bit a little bit. <clears throat> okay, it's not biting in very much. That's okay, you just have little tap, tap, you know, screws, so. So it's a small pilot hole. Yeah. And now, is they the same size as this? It is. Okay. All right. It's a tight little area. Yep. And if, once you got to bite your ratchet, probably will work. Good. And does it look level see. two? Yeah, that is real close. I think we're good. Does that look level? Right in against it? Yep. Okay. Then. Not that you need it, but I'll, I'm going to leave one of these on while you do the top ones, and I'll hold this out of the way. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Wow. That tightened pretty good. Ah. I know I tightened it, but I didn't realize I almost couldn't... <laughs> that you hand it back to me and scalpel and all that good mm -hmm. stuff. This is going to be another way to tighten. Oh, I thought that would miss. Oh, it only goes out. I thought, okay. Oh, I see once, once we get down in there, it's going to be harder. You, well, you might be able to get, once you get down far enough, you might be able to be on this side of it. That's true. Right, let's try it. Oh, it's just thick enough. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Now you probably go on the inside. Oh, there we go. There that's, you go. That's, that's a little bit. Where'd you get that? You're going to go. Give me back the drill and I'll release the. I'm going to release, release it now as far as that goes. It's going to be a little tighter. It's right up against the thing. Yeah. Okay, that's We can always grab it. You know what? We can always grab the. the, the uh, what do you call it? The other um, crescent wrench to pull that in a little bit. But I, I think you got I th it. Fine. I think it's pretty good, yeah.
Couldn't be any tighter. I wonder if the engineer did think about that. You know, about That's a good, <laughs> yeah, it, you, they had to. An efficient engineer would have. I just wonder if they would have, you know. Maybe some people have a longer ratchet arm reach that yeah, easier you can, to work with. Yeah, I mean, you need a lot of, I mean, you're right. I know I have uh, extended or tall ones too, but. Work with what you got. Yeah. That's good. That's it. Okay, now, let's just, the ultimate test. Are you ready to roll the drums? You might want to capture this. Hey, hey the first okay, time. Now, wait a minute. Look, that's only one way. Okay, your turn. Oh, you're just like. Very good. Oh, one more time. One more time. <laughs> I, I'm satisfied. While I was building the privacy fence back there, Wendy assembled this dog kennel that we're going to be using as a goat shelter. She did a pretty good job, and uh, I think it's probably going to suit the goats pretty well on a temporary basis. We've got these plastic panels on uh, some of the sides just to uh, keep the rain off of them and keep the goats a little more comfortable and warm in here. Not a whole lot of space, but I think it'll be good for two little goats uh, on a temporary basis. going to be a big step for us here on our homestead but Wendy has really wanted goats for a very long time uh, it's been a dream of hers for uh, I don't even know how long it feels good to make a dream come true for someone you love <laughs>